Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen, and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good make you feel good. All right, so we're gonna get into this fragrance that I purchased recently. If you've been following me for a while, then you already know I'm not a huge Kayali follower or whatever. I don't go out and purchase her fragrances. I have tried Must 12, those little, I think I went through two of those little small, I don't know what you call them, they cute little bottles. And then I went through, I think it was a, is it 50 mils? It had been a larger bottle because they were spraying too of the vanilla, Kaoli vanilla. Is it 28? <laughs> All these numbers. Y'all remember, I used to talk about it and I used to spray it with everything else. Well, I have an issue with buying fragrances that need to be sprayed with other stuff. So I just figured if you can't stand alone, I really don't want to buy it. And I would always hear people layer with this, layer with that. But I hardly ever hear people say they just wear these fragrances alone. And I don't want to spend the 135 whatever on a fragrance that i need to spray with something else so i kind of like shied away from them but as fragrances to start as fragrances start coming out like every six months i was like ah, maybe i'll try something from her i just don't know what yet and i have sniffed a few fragrances then i have received a lot of samples and nothing really just made me say oh let me go get this right now right until i saw this collaboration well in watching all the million views videos on youtube tiktok instagram i felt like the velvet santal would be for me i feel like the more feminine fragrance whatever it's called was like and eh, more feminine girly ladylike whatever I, I got enough of those i want a little something with a little mm, in it y'all know i like a little <laughs> in my fragrance i like unisex fragrances long lasting fragrances i just like something that's a little bit different than your everyday girly fragrance. I still buy them and I enjoy them. But if I was going to buy a 50 ml fragrance for 100 bucks, I wanted to have a little something extra. So I picked up this bottle right here. This is the packaging. It's what it looks like. Y'all seen this. I'm not going to talk about this. What is this? Velvet Suntile 35. This is 50 ml, 1.7 fluid ounces. And here's the bottle. And let me tell you my thoughts. I'm not going to hold y'all long, but I'll go ahead and run y'all these notes. It says, it has, um, Jasmine petals, tea leaves, white musk, cedar, benzoin, and sandalwood. It is, I don't even know what time it is. Maybe it's like seven something at night. It's gone. It's been gone for a couple hours. It's, it became a skin scent in about two hours, third hour. I literally had to drag my skin and fourth, fifth hour as if I never wore anything. So it's not a huge long lasting fragrance. I'm going to tell you that. But... I'm about to just spray it again. All right, so this is this is just my opinion of what I feel when I smell. I honestly feel like the notes listed on this fragrance are key notes. They're just like major main notes, and they are. This is my theory. And there's other notes that are intertwined into these notes, maybe not as prominent as these notes, maybe not as the percentage is higher of these notes than these others. When I first spray this, I get something on the top that's like a beautiful jasmine petal, but it is intertwined with saffron and some hints of spice. I don't know what the spice is, but there is something in here. And it may just be the saffron. It, it may not be, but this is what I smell. Of jasmine petals, soft petals, saffron. It goes down to something woody. It's really woody and musky, but the musky note is, it says white musk, but it reminds me of a sexy musk, like a, a sexy, soft, alluring musk. It's not heady, it's not thick, it's not cloying. It's almost like velvet. And then there's a dash of sandalwood. And then that's it. And as it goes on, about 20 minutes in, I just feel like a velvet to touch, like it's it's soft, a soft unisex fragrance. It still has presence. We still know that I have it on. It doesn't project like far at all. It's just a bubble. It's very intimate. It's very close encounter, intimate. It's very, um, it's sweet. It's definitely sweet. And it doesn't smell sweet like jasmine petals. I drink jasmine tea almost every night. It's more like jasmine mixed with saffron and some spice. 
And then it has this beautiful soft velvety musk with woods. And the sound of wood is it's not buttery or anything like that. It's like a touch. Like I don't even really get sound of wood. This whole time I've been all day, like respring, can I get sound of wood? Like I, I don't get it. I wanted the sound of I thought the sound of wood was gonna be creamy, it's gonna be in that thing. It's a man fragrance, supposedly, right? But I think it's unisex. And I think it's right down the middle, to be honest. For me, this this is what it smells like to me. It smells like a fragrance that had a beautiful jasmine, saffron, some musky wood notes with touches of amber in it. And it was beautiful. And it lasted like all day. And then by, by eight o'clock at night, when it starts to fade away and it becomes softer and it's just become skin-like, that's what this starts off as. So if you like those type of notes, but they've always been bold to you and strong and a little, a little too much and heady and it's too hot for that kind of thing, you would probably like this. Cause this is soft. It has presence, but it's soft. So what I feel about it. I do like the packaging. I love the bottles. I wish they were bigger bottles. I would rather just pay the 100 mil and pay the extra 30, $40 for it than to get this little bitty bottle. I, I have to spray a lot. I have to spray a lot of this to feel a presence for me. I think my son would enjoy this. He'll be here soon. I'm going to see if he even wants it. If he wants it, he could probably have it. I like it. I do enjoy it. I just wish I had a, a bigger bottle for the money. I don't know if it's worth this money for this small bottle, but I enjoy the scent. It's a really beautiful fragrance. I like this fragrance. I think that most people, like I said, who like those notes, the jasmine, saffron, spices, like hints of like, like, like that soft velvety musk, but you want it soft and sensual and close encounter where you can be next to someone, you're not overpowering them with fragrance, you would really enjoy this. I kept looking for male reviews on this fragrance. I was really confused about this. I just thought this was going to be like, you know, <laughs> loud so i'm shocked and it's but it's beautiful it's a really beautiful fragrance and i, I just should have got the bigger bottle so if my son comes i'll probably give him this and if she comes out with a bigger bottle i'm gonna probably give myself a decant let him have this when the when a bigger bottle comes i just buy a bigger bottle i think i think it's worth the money for the larger size 100 mil there's something sweet in here the tea is beautiful and that musk is beautiful. It's nothing like your Julia has the guns. There's no sharpness to this musk, no heaviness, no cloying. It's very, it's a cloud, a white cloud of soft musk with soft petals of roses, a dash, a sprinkle of cinnamon, nutmeg, something. It's something in here, y'all, and, and saffron, or it's a myrrh. It's something in here. Yeah, this is good. I like this. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything really negative to say except for the bottle size. That's the only thing I can say is I wish the bottle was bigger and I would feel like I, might, I got my money's worth. But I'm definitely going to spread, use it, wear it. And I feel like this is a fragrance I could wear alone for light errands, light days. When I just want to feel like, oh, that's a, see, that's another thing. Do I want to spend $100 to lay around the house? and feel cozy and comfort. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be negative because I like the fragrance. And it's the, it's the money. It's the money and the size of the fragrance. It's the size of the fragrance. That's all it is. And the, and I just wish the bottle was bigger. Other than that, I have no... But this is a good fragrance. Let me know what you think about this bottle, the fragrance, and if you have anything you would like to recommend to me from Kayali, not the pistachio one. Of course, I will probably purchase the vanilla before like the years out. I need another one of those bottles. But anything else, I didn't like the black bottle, whatever that was. That was, I gave all those away. I bought all those little mini things and gave them all away. I did not like that. But uh, let me know what you think. Burning cherry something, it was okay. Wasn't a huge fan, but probably because by then I was over all the cherries. <laughs> from trying all of the tapas or whatever. And everybody else, all these dupes, I was kind of over cherry now. But let me know if you have one you think I should try and go ahead and get. 
but this one right here is a beautiful fragrance i definitely recommend this like i said if you like those fragrances that lean a tad bit masculine but enjoy the softness of like musk flanked with jasmine a hint of spice it, this is sweet it's a sweet there's a sweet something in spice in here it's a beautiful fragrance i think they did good with this i keep i'll be keeping this bottle and it's, you know if my son doesn't want it and uh yeah when it's over mm, maybe buy another one i don't know but i think it's a good fragrance i have no complaints about it except for pricing and size so once again let me know your thoughts on this fragrance what do you think about it did you get a chance to try it purchase it did you get the whole set i'm just saying and yeah let me know what you think and i will see you all in the next video thanks for hanging out with me today if you like this type of video make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and make sure that you click all on the down arrow button for notifications so you'll be notified each and every time i do an upload and i'll see you on the next video i hope this wasn't too like negative because the fragrance is good like it's good it's like close encounter sexy soft good if i had to rate it probably like a 7 out of 10 which is good for me i would say 7 out of 10 this is good definitely a good fragrance yeah and like i said if they had the bigger bottle i wish i had got the bigger bottle instead so i feel like i got my money's worth but anyway i'll see you on the next video thanks for hanging out with me peace and blessings